Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new series on the channel and this is uh, F1 Korea part number one today in the McLaren on 2010 game. We are going to be racing as Jensen Button but it is going to be you can claim it's career mode because we couldn't be able to race through a whole series of career mode and play as a driver. So it's going to be on Legend AI, four flashbacks available. We will use none of them though. Uh, full traction control because my pedals are very very loose. And we are going to add the full 19 races of the 2010 season. So yeah, um, fortunately there is no sound to this video because my catch card didn't pick up any sound whatsoever. But heading into Bahrain, this is a actually quite good track for me. Um, personally, of course, this is my first race. Um, but you know, in GP2 it was it was decent. But we we skipped practice one because we don't need the practice because uh, Vettel, Weber, and Hamilton are the top runners there so it's going to be straight up between Red Bull and McLaren this season looking forward to it heading into qualifying one uh, we do a 57-4 which was enough to get us through to the next qualifying session quite easy as well and then into the next part of qualifying qualifying two yeah quite a um, critical session because we I don't think we'll be starting on these tyres I think it's the fastest tyre that we um, that we set up with is what we choose so it doesn't really matter if we take the life out of these tires, but I tried to keep as much off as possible. It's a 57-1 though, five tenths off the pace. So still the pace is not quite there so far, um, my rookie season. And yeah, into Q3, I'll see you through the whole lap here, breaking at the 100 meter board in this game. It's 150 on later F1 games, but uh, yeah, I go, I go into second gear. I don't usually use gear one in this game, you know, clip a every apex. I must say I'm running with default setup as well. So none of this um, different setup on the advantage of the AI. I wanted to have a nice challenge this season to clump the curb quite not quite bad there. You do not want to cl clump that curb as the sector one. This of course is the um, old layout of the circuit as we lock up our front right there going into, I believe that that was turn seven or something. But um, yeah, the curves are very deadly on this game, so you have to really be aware of them. And this was actually my fastest lap of the whole weekend. I didn't do another one in Q3, didn't have the time. Well, I did, but I made, made, made a mistake on it and didn't have the time to come in and change tyres, put more fuel on board and so on and so forth. But um, yeah, going into this right-hander, you know, a little bit of a lock-up there, but it doesn't cost me too much time, maybe just half a tenth there. But um, then we'll run up here. We are low on fuel because we've got three laps on. You're going to break just around that corner and then clump the curb there nicely. You can clump that curb however you you want. Probably not all the car over it because you'll probably spin out. But I, I use a bit of it with my left front there. Um, but yeah, into this uh, long swerving left, left hand. I really like this corner here. You know, it's very demanding of the car, very demanding of the driver as well. Heading through this right hander then and then braking probably um, at that orange marker there on the barrier on the right hand side of me. I want to take the video back and look at it, but um, yeah, along the straight, uh, passing the DHL signs, uh, Allianz, and then breaking at the 100 meter board into this corner here. We, we nailed that corner really nice. You don't have to hit the apex in that corner because you take apex speed anyway. And come up to the line, what lap is it? A 56 4 2 4, and that was it. And they got a second six thousandths behind Sebastian Vettel. For the race, I am looking forward to the Bahrain Grand Prix race. See so yeah, in the garage, we are second on the grid uh, for the race. Um, yeah, we are starting on the Q3 set that we set, and it's 93% because we did do another lap on it, but let's go to the race. So yeah, on the grid for the 2010 Bahrain Grand Prix, our debut in Formula 1. 25 laps, a 50% race here in Bahrain. We're not doing the 4S because no more session saves, and it's lights out, and away we go. And it looks like a fairly even start, but in the second phase, Vettel gets away here as we try and squeeze Mark Webber into the white line onto the grass there. But both Red Bulls have pulled away in this Grand Prix, and there goes Alonso ramming outside of us, but can't quite 
hang on to it at the moment, but uh, Vettel and Webber squabbing like two kids over our ice cream here as we clump the curve there, but try and get in the slipstream of Webber and Vettel going into turn number four. We break at 100 metre boards and go right around the outside of Webber. Can we do Vettel as well, I wonder? You know, clumping that left-hand curve. They're going really slow on this open lap there. I don't know what they're doing, to be honest. But we go right around the outside of Sebastian Vettel and we take P number one in this 25 lap race. So hopefully we can start to pull away from Vettel as we get a warning for that. We didn't even gain time by doing that, to be honest. So, yeah, uh, lap one, we're trying to do the best that we can and really just trying to extend the gap as much as I can in these opening laps as we are doing quite nicely indeed. I didn't know what the gap was, about five seconds, I believe, between me and Sebastian Vettel. But, yeah, until lap six, yeah, really enjoying the levels of grip that this car is creating, a lot of mechanical grip this car has at the moment. But, uh, as you can see, now I'm going to lap eight, this is that pit stop window. So... We're going to have to come in, stop onto a set of grey wall prime Bridgestone tyres at the end of this lap. Tyres are like orange, so yeah, perfect onto pit. We also have good uh, levels of grip in this car as well. Um, so yeah, coming into the pit then, change onto a set of prime tyres. Hopefully get help out in front of the rest of the cars as Weber actually carries on for another lap. Bethel pits in behind us. I believe that is Bethel. Um Correct me if I am wrong because... I my date on the screen um, at the moment is not correct, but it is Weber, sorry. Yes, so it is Weber, and that we come out right with a Fernando Alonso, but unfortunately, a pit crew have got us out in behind Fernando Alonso, which is not good for our race. It's very difficult to pass on 2010, or in 2010, I should say, but um, yeah, trying to really pass Fernando Alonso on that nine, we tap his rear tyre. There's a little bit of a hurry up there as he right around the outside. We plunked the curve as well. But Alonso's really parking the bus here. We can't seem to find a way through on the uh, Spaniard at the moment. He's parking that red Ferrari um, on our nose at the moment. But he's really going so slow through sector one. I don't know what's, what's with the AI through this sector, but they're just so slow. Um, as we try to pass Fernando Alonso, it's not working so far, though, as then we smash up the inside of Alonso. Is this going to be the pass that we were looking for? No, it's not, because we're going wheel-to-wheel. With the Spaniard, it's a great battle between me and Alonso, but Alonso unfortunately wins it. As we're on to lap number 10 now, they're into the pits, is Alonso and Mark Webber. So we regain the lead of the race and cut on to lap 14. Nothing really much happening in this race, just really us dictating the pace for like half a minute in front of Mark Webber. Really, I'm living life in this McLaren. It's very, very good car, but as you can see on to lap 24, we have run out of fuel. As it goes red there, we've ran out of fuel as we lock up into turn one. But more importantly, we have ran out of fuel as we've moved down into cruise. But that is not good for our race. That is quite terribly horrific for our races. And you can see into the final lap, we ran out completely of fuel. Illegal blocking. We ran out of fuel and that's the lead. Gone out of the window. And Vettel is only just behind us as well. And the points... Are, are going to be taken away from me here as Vettel gets second. It's going to be a Red Bull 1 2 here, but as you can see, onto the final lap, it is, and we are 16th. 17th is where me flies past. On the final lap, as we weave in frustration, and then there's Kovalainen. and we've run out of fuel. I wasn't look, really looking at our fuel the whole race. I should really use it down, just leaving Cruz. You know, I had that race under control and I've messed it up. I've messed it up, but I hopefully can get everything back in Australia and prove myself justice. So if you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe for new. The standings will be up next episode, not this one. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.